guys, Bluefin100 back again with another Yu-Gi-Oh opening, and it's been a while since I posted a video, I know, but if you guys didn't see my previous community post before the Beyblade one, I said I was going to be on vacation from the end of June to the beginning of August, and now I'm finally back from vacation. I went to Los Angeles and San Francisco, and of course, I got some stuff from both LA and San Fran. I got Yu-Gi-Oh related stuff, Beyblade, and some other stuff from Universal Studios and some other places. So. I'm going to be showing off the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff first, and then uh, I only got one Beyblade related stuff from the US. So I got not one, but three of the Speed Duel Booster Packs. So I got Yugi, Kaiba, and the newest one, Joey. So this one is Scars of Battle, and this one is um, Attack from the Deep, and this one is Arena of the Lost Souls. So it comes with four cards, which is pretty cool. I also got another dual power box, which I won't be opening in this video, as well as the speed duels. So there's that. I got it for 30 bucks at Target. Um, when I first got my dual power set, it was $50 at Walmart. So I'm glad that I got this for a better price there. So yeah, I also got three random Yu-Gi-Oh cards from this anime store in LA called uh, Tokyo. JLS or Japanese lifestyle and uh, These were $5.99 each so Yeah, that's pretty cool and They are of course the Dragoonity cards So there's that and I also got the Yu-Gi-Oh value cube as well because uh, I've seen some videos on this and I decided to pick one up because I want to see what cards I would get also because it comes with the legendary collection 2 pack So that's cool Cybernetic Horizon as well, and uh, Space Time Police, and some other cards. So it comes with three rares, two foils, two booster packs, four duelist packs, and 20 cards. So this is what I'm going to be opening in this video, as well as uh, these three cards. And now for the Beyblade stuff, I only got one thing related, sadly. So here it is. And yes, I know it's fake, but whatever i enjoy collecting fake beyblades and they're honestly not that bad and yeah i know some of the pieces break and you know the stickers come out easily but i honestly do not care they're still beyblades nonetheless uh so uh this is called if i can show it to you spin gear top and it's using the bakuten shoe beyblade logo which is pretty cool and uh we got two Bit piece, I think, or spirits, and it says on the side as well. Oh, sorry, it's upside down. Spin your top. It comes with four tops. So we got this one, which is using a recolored white or gray Falborg attack ring, and the bit piece. I don't even know what this is. It kind of looks like galleon, but it's not. But it is pretty cool. And this one, it is a uh, Wyborg's bit piece as well as this one. Uh, but the attack ring that it's using is Drisiel F's, recolored blue. And this one is a recolored red version of World War II. And this one, believe it or not, is Amphilion. Yeah. Because if you guys don't know, Amphilion or Unicolion was never released in both the car version or the Hasbro version. So people would have to make their own versions of those blades. And uh, yeah, it's actually pretty cool that. Uh, the company that made this use a uh, Beyblade that was not released. And yeah, it's using a green version of Galaxy. And of course, it comes with the grip, launcher, and the ripcord. And at the back, shows you the other blades you can't get. Like uh, Drawns V2, it shows Bound Attacker, Master Drusil, Drigger S, Wolborg 2, Wyborg, Drusil Metal Ball Defensor, Drawns Auto Change Balancer, uh, Wing Attacker, and a recolored version of Seaborg 1, but it has Wolborg 1's Bit Beast, Seaborg 2, and a repainted uh, Galaxy attack ring. It's like gold or yellow, but it has uh, Galmon's Bit Beast. And yeah, I got this for about like $12.99. And here's the logo again. So it's honestly not that bad. I probably won't open this like on camera or ever because I have another like fake uh, Beyblade set which I won't even open as well but you'll see that in my Beyblade collection video which will be soon so don't worry so let's go ahead and 
open these up and okay and I'll, I'll open the value cube later okay so got this one of course Shein's Daredevil legendary six samurai Kageki another Dragoonity card but it's ducks Gusto Condor or Kodor, sorry. Double or nothing. Crash Bug Y. Asleep at the Switch. Another one. Junk Synchron. Nice. Field Commander Raz. And oh, there was another card behind it. Crash Bug Z. Gear Giano. Damage Vaccine Max. Future Glow. Poseidon Wave. Uh, Master of the Flaming Dragon Swords. Giant True Nade, nice. So it's a mixture of both um, old cards and new cards. Another Dragoonity Legionnaire. Or actually, do I have that? No. So this is the first one I pulled out. Lich Lord, Goddess of the Third Eye, Warrior Returning Alive, XYZ Effect. Ooh, nice. Orikalko's Shuneros, nice. I don't think I have this card yet. Uh, Majestic Mech, Vengeful Shinobi. Trident Warrior, uh huh, uh huh. Amazonas Blowpiper, Giant Rat, another Legionnaire, Harmonic Waves, nice. Spirit Force, Blade Knight, I just spoiled that card. Radiant Gerald, and here are the last two cards. Whoops, forgot a card. Put that on the side, I'm gonna fix the game board. And, okay, there's no opening for this, so I'm gonna be using my cutting tool. Okay, so, finally got it opened. All right, so we got Dragoonity Pillum. I think that's how I pronounce it, sorry. Uh, Watt Barracks. I think that's yeah. Insector Centipede, nice. Alter guys, Drag Virion. Tyrant Dino Fusion, nice. Never seen this card. Overflow Dragon. Dino Wrestler, Goki the Blade Ogre, cool. Comes with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Rain cards as well. Ooh, nice. So this comes with Dino Wrestler cards. Well, I'll just show it like this. Ooh, Destiny Hero. Never seen this one. Valkyrie Chariot. Hmm, so not bad actually. Alright. See if I can open this one by hand. Or not. Give me one sec. Alright. This one was a pain in the ass to open, but oh well. Okay, Mech Knight Yellow Star, Soldiering Dragon, the Calibrator, cool. Red Mirror, nice. Miss Starboy, Spell Reproduction, Ring of Destruction, Contract with the Dark Master, alright, so pretty decent card, so let's go ahead and open this up, if I can find a opening. There you go. 
Okay. Let's see if I don't. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the side. And I'll put these on the side. And I'll just plastic. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. And oh, nice! It comes with uh, four packs of Rivals of the Pharaoh. Nice. And let's see if I can grab those cards. So we got Space Time Police, Dudes of the Meteor Cubic Vessel, sorry. Alright. Wow, all these are upside down. Well, most of them. Partition of Darkness. There's a black Stego here. Dark Artist. Arm Protector Dragon. Archfiend's Roar. Test Ape. Bujinji Wolf. Holy crap. Nice. And. Cool. And here's the Legendary Collection cards. Well, just one, and then Cybernetic Horizon. I'm not too familiar with the new packs. I'm only familiar with cards up to like Zexel or even 5Ds. So I'm gonna start off with the Cybernetic Horizon first. Okay. Realm of Danger, cool. The Deep Grave. Uh-huh. Cool. I don't even know most of these cards in this pack, but... Oh well. Now to open the Legendary Collection 2 pack. Okay. Let's see if I get uh, more elements or heroes from this. Mariner. Here, Hummingbird. Diamond Dude, nice. And Disc Commander, cool. Ooh, nice. Neo's Wiseman. And Hero Flash, cool. Tongue of the Six Samurai. And Rainbow Path, nice. So I'm gonna put Neo's Wiseman here. And I'll probably put the two Destiny Heroes and the Hero Flash card. And I'll put the other cards in the pack. Now, whoops, gonna fix this. Now to the four Rivals of the Pharaoh packs again. But to be honest, I don't get tired of these cards. Okay, same crap, same crap. Yep, same old. Same old, mm-hmm. Oh, Neutron Blast, nice. For Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, and Dark Magician of Chaos. And I got uh, Spear Message N, finally. Put these together. And I'll put, yeah, just leave it like that. Whatever. Stronghold, Spear Message Eye, Silent Burning, nice, and Thousand Eyes Restrict. Alright, last pack for this um, value box. Hell Poemer, Sandgan, and YZ Tank Dragon. Uh, mediocre cards. That I've just pulled out, but oh well, better than nothing. Okay, so I'll probably put this in my uh, new Elemental Hero deck, even though I don't have you, Bell. Oh well, and I'll probably put this in my um, binder or 
in my uh, Kaiba deck. So with this, you can target one uh, ultimate dragon you control, and it can make a second, third attack for each battle phase. Also, when it attacks, your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated until the end of the damage step. Nice. And what else? They got Hero Flash as well, and Destiny Hero Diamond Dude and Disc Commander. Because I only have a few Destiny Hero cards. So, yeah, that's about it for this opening of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Value Cube. There you go. And uh, those three uh, random Yu-Gi-Oh! packs that came with the Dragoonity card. So, this one, this one, and of course this one. And uh, those random packs. So, next I'll be opening the Speed Duel Booster Packs. So the Arena of Lost Souls, Attack from the Deep, and the latest one, Scars of Battle. And I'll probably get a booster box for these, but I'll think about it. Or I'll just get um, them in booster packs instead. So then it'll be a lot cheaper. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and make sure to check out my previous Yu-Gi-Oh! openings and other videos relating to Yu-Gi-Oh! And make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Link will be in the description below. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you will never miss an upload. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and like always, I'm out. Peace.